Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are outside of Walgreens today to do our haul and I'm super excited. Finally gonna try to do this Cetaphil deal. Tried to do it last week, but my store was completely wiped out. So online it showed there were quite a few available. So fingers crossed we can score. If it works out, I'll be able to get Cetaphil products for 30 cents a piece out of pocket, which is incredible. There is a printable breakdown as always linked below in the description box. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you're looking for a way to save hundreds of dollars every month, definitely consider hitting the red subscribe button and the notification bell. So that way you can learn easy coupon deals, moneymaker deals, and just ways that you can save in general. If you haven't checked out my Sunday CVS haul, well, it wasn't on Sunday, it was on Tuesday, but my CVS haul from this week, I did announce the two winners of the $100 gift cards. I heard from one winner, but there's one winner I have not heard back from. So make sure you check out that video today. Today is the last day to let me know. Otherwise, I'll be choosing a new winner. I do have a giveaway going on right now in my new Facebook group. It is a public Facebook group called Easy Couponing for Everyone. If you want to join the Facebook group, it is linked below and look for my giveaway post. The winner of the gift card is gonna be announced on Friday. So I'm gonna be announcing that winner shortly tomorrow. So make sure you take a look and join that Facebook group. You can post your hauls, questions. It's been a really supportive and amazing community so far. So let's go inside now. We are using mostly digital coupons except for the Cetaphil. So let's go ahead and grab some amazing deals. Okay, so I'm super excited. My store restocked enough for me to finally do the Cetaphil deal and be able to use the last of these coupons that I have. So these are from the 36 Smart Source, I believe, and everyone has been posting that they are taking off $20. So I'm gonna be grabbing four Cetaphil products. They're buy one, get one half off. So I'm gonna grab this um, eye serum here for $21.49. Then I'm gonna grab, I think, one of the gentle foaming cleansers and um, two of the skin cleansers. So I'm gonna be using two of these coupons that are buy one, get one free. Then you also have a four off two Walgreens store digital coupon. If you've already used the digital one, it is available in the small booklet that every cashier should have. So that'll take off a total of $8 because I'm buying four of them. Now, I honestly don't know exactly what I'll be paying out of pocket on this, so I will let you guys know um, at the end when we go over my receipts. Here's a great deal, especially if you're still tracking towards that Fetch bonus. Mine was showing up this morning, but I just um, opened up my Fetch account and now it's gone. So not sure if maybe it expired, I don't know. But anyway, um, the Tresemme this week are two for $10. Check to see if you still have a five off two digital coupon. That'll make your final cost $2.50 per bottle. Another amazing all digital deal is on Garnier Fruit Teas. So you can grab any two that are labeled two for $7. Clip the three off two manufacturer digital coupon and there's a dollar off one Walgreens store digital coupon. So that will come off of each one that you're grabbing, making your final cost a dollar a piece, which is an amazing deal. So here's a good deal you can do this week, but a better deal if you wait for next week. Now I can't find the Balmex diaper cream at my store. It should be like literally around here somewhere. I don't even see the tag. So maybe my store just doesn't carry it. This is the deal you could do this week. It's $7.29 on the Balmex website. You can print a $2 coupon. Then submit to Ibotta for $4 back makes it $1.29. So that's an amazing deal. However, next week I saw this sneak peek coupon for $4 off of two bottles. So grab two of them, use two coupons, then submit to Ibotta, you'll get $4 back each. That rebate says it expires in July. So it should still be valid next week. That'll make them both free and about a $1.53 moneymaker. So of course a freebie is even better than paying, but it's totally up to you whenever you wanna do the deal. Here's a really good all digital deal on Airwick refills. So you can grab any two. They are buy one, get one half off and they're $7.49. Then clip this buy one, get one free digital coupon. You're also gonna submit to Ibotta and get a dollar back for buying two of them. 
That'll make your final cost about $1.86 each, which is an amazing deal on refills. Now there's a moneymaker deal on Crest this week. So they are $4, select ones are $4 each. Buy two, get a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna grab this Pro Health Advanced. I wanna get the Pro Health because there is an Ibotta rebate for 25 cents back. And I'm trying to do as many Ibotta rebates as possible. So I'm gonna grab this and use this $2 off one Crest digital coupon that does expire tomorrow. Then you're gonna grab one of the Oral-B. If you grab the um, ProFlex over here, shows that it is included and it's only $4 online. We also have a separate $2 off one digital if you have not used it so far. So total for both is $8. Then you have $4 in coupons. You'll pay $4 out of pocket, get back a $4 register reward and 25 cents on Ibotta makes them free and a 25 cent money maker. We also have free Colgate this week. So I'm gonna grab these two. They are both on sale for $3.99 each. Buy two, get $5 in Walgreens cash. Then clip the three off two Colgate digital coupon. You'll pay $4.98, get back $5 in Walgreens cash, makes them both free. Here's another Ibotta rebate you can grab. Grab two of the M&Ms. They're not tagged, but when I scanned it on the app, they showed two for $2. We do have a 50 cent off to printable coupon linked in the printable breakdown for you. Then submit to Ibotta. My rebate is only 10 cents each. Um, at another store, it's 50 cents each, so it may vary for your account. So for me, it's gonna be 40 cents a piece. If your rebate is 50 cents back each, you'll get them both completely free. So here's one transaction I'm gonna do using a booster for spend 15, get $5 in Walgreens cash. So total for this is gonna be 1971, I believe. Then we have a three off two digital and a buy one, get one free digital. I'm not sure if that's gonna take off the full amount of 650 or if it's gonna take off the 50% amount because one of them is buy one, get one free. I'll let you guys know at checkout. If it takes off the full 650, then that's gonna be $9.50 in coupons. So I'd be left to pay $9.71 plus taxes out of pocket. But because I only need $15 in product value and this is over $19, I can use up to $4 in Walgreens cash. So I'll pay $5.71 plus taxes out of pocket, get back $5 in Walgreens cash for this, $5 in Walgreens cash from the digital booster, and a dollar on Ibotta for these two. So my out-of-pocket cost is going to be $4.71 plus tax, right? Because I'm getting a dollar cash back. The entire transaction is also going to wind up being free and a $1.28 moneymaker because our total after coupons to pay out-of-pocket is $9.71. We're getting back $10 in Walgreens cash and a dollar on Ibotta. So that's how I come up with that math. Now let me show you another big transaction with a spend 60, get $15 in Walgreens cash digital booster. Okay, so I had to switch this up a little bit while I was in store. So the correct breakdowns, of course, will be in the printable below. But from the math I did in store, all of these products should total me $71.46. We have $8 in store coupons, right? Four for two and four off of two. So now my new total is $63.46. We have to be above $60 after the store discounts in order to get back the $15 in Walgreens cash. So the total for the coupons, I also am not 100% sure because it depends on how the BOGO digitals work, or I mean those BOGO um, Cetaphil coupons work, but I'm assuming we have about $49 in coupons. We'll be paying $14.45 plus taxes out of pocket. But then I am gonna be using up to $3 in Walgreens cash. So now I'll be paying 11.45 plus taxes out of pocket. We are gonna be getting back $15 in Walgreens cash for the booster and a $4 register reward from the Crest and Oral-B. That makes my final cost completely free and a $7.45 moneymaker. These are also products that I can resell, so it's definitely worth it to pay a little over $10 out of pocket. You guys know that's typically my go-to is to get it as low as possible. Let's go check out so I can let you guys know how it all works out. 
Okay guys, we're back in from Walgreens. Um, had not like hiccups necessarily at checkout, but things didn't ring in the way I thought they were going to. So for my big transaction, it wound up putting me under the $60. So I didn't get the $15 in Walgreens cash. So yeah, I'm really bummed about that, but I'm super excited that I got the C to fill. So what are you gonna do? Sometimes you win some, you lose some. But let me show you guys my transactions. Also, the Eric Digital did not even take off like buy one get one free. So I don't I don't recommend doing that deal. That was a flop for sure. So I did the Airwick, they rang in buy one, get one half off. I did the Colgate. Colgate came off. Look at the Airwick coupon. So buy one get one free should have at least taken off $374. It took off $275. Like what? So definitely a no-go on that deal. I don't recommend doing that deal. Um used four dollars in Walgreens cash, paid $10.80 out of pocket. I did get back $10.15 in Walgreens cash and I submitted to Ibotta, got a dollar back. So I did pay less than $10 out of pocket, but definitely not what I was expecting. So we're gonna call that transaction a dud. Um, this transaction, the reason why it didn't work, I even had her scan like the more expensive product, then I had her scan the $9.99. Then I had her scan this one, then I had her scan another one of these, yet, it took off buy one half, buy one get one half off of the expensive products. So that is what I didn't know was gonna happen, which is what put me way under the $60 mark after the store coupons. Because I was at, I did all the calculations, I was at like 61.24, which is fine, but then you have to account for these $2 um, Walgreens store coupons. So that takes off $8. Now my total in product value is 53 something. So obviously we're not at $60. However, after my first transaction, I got printed a spend 50, get $10 in Walgreens cash. So I had her scan that for this transaction. So I did wind up getting back $10 in Walgreens cash, but it obviously should have been $25 in Walgreens cash. So I don't know. I might call customer service, just see if there's something they can do. Um, but I don't know. Then the Oral-B and I got the Tresemme. So the uh, manufacturer coupons took off $16.99 each for the buy one, get one free. So that was awesome. All the other coupons came off. I didn't have any issues with digitals coming off, which was great. Um, so I did not pay with any Walgreens cash this time like I was going to because I used that paper booster. So you don't want to pay with Walgreens cash when you're using a paper booster unless you're paying in the My Walgreens app, which I've never done. So I just didn't even want to mess with it. So I paid $14.51 out of pocket. I did get back the $4 register reward for the um, Crest and Oral-B, and I got back $10 in Walgreens cash for that booster. So my final cost for this transaction was 51 cents technically, not bad. I did submit to Ibotta as well, got 25 cents back on the um, Crest. So final cost for about $60 worth of products is, how much was it? Like 30 cents. So I'm still really happy with that, don't get me wrong. Granted, my out-of-pocket is higher than I typically like it, but I'm really excited about those Cetaphil products. I do resell that. I have somebody who likes to purchase those from me consistently, as well as the Tresemme, so that's why I thought that would be a good transaction to put together. So I'll make my money back from reselling it, so that way I'll probably at least break even on that transaction. If you guys have any questions or anything, of course, drop a comment below. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video for me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.